Hi there, signs of Taurus. This is Kim here to do a next 48 hour reading for you. I hope you're doing really good today. We are going to pull from the Kipper deck first, and then I'm going to pull from uh, the Dreams of Gaia. Dreams of Gaia. Jeez, that sun is bright coming in the window there. Whew. All right, Taurus, ask your spirit team and your angels. To join us as we get messages these are for your most high for your highest good hmm. seven and four courtship seven says message courtship high honor and marriage okay message courtship high honor and marriage on the bottom of the deck is a privileged lady of some sort all right so let's see um wow so a marriage if it's not talking about um if it's not talking about you know the obvious the couple bro romance marriage then it might be talking about a company or coming together with another person partnering up we are going to use dreams of gaia and we're going to check out the energies around this situation and let you know what you're headed towards okay messages for taurus what is the main energy that taurus is feeling right now What's the main energy Taurus is feeling right now? Ah, the three, the three of cups in the reverse is what you're feeling right now. Hmm, that's not too happy. Tell me about what's keeping Taurus grounded, <clears throat> grounded at the moment. You have to check out or watch for who you're hanging around with when you get three of cups in the reverse. There's a chance of overdoing it, too. Um, what's keeping you grounded? There is something about finances getting better or some finances coming in. Knowing the effort is going to be worth the wait. Something's going to be worth the wait. What is the past energy that's affecting this present energy? Or Taurus. What is the past energy affecting or having a big effect on the present energy? Ace of Swords in the reverse. Could be that somebody missed an opportunity with you, or, you know, could be like that somebody lied to you or didn't tell you the truth regarding some kind of opportunity. It just, I don't know what that's about. I feel like it has to do with this message, though. Whatever this message is. Um, tell me about the energies crowning Taurus. Crowning Taurus. A big decision. Libra energy strong. You may be split. Kind of down the middle here. Um, there may be an unavoidable type of decision. Maybe something that's already been decided upon like maybe you've already decided on something there is a choice to part for some uh from some friends i feel like some friends will be leaving some friends will be coming this could be friends and partnerships and that can be about what the decision is about too what energy does taurus have to look forward to please give me something <laughs> Me something good. Tell me something good. I have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. What should you look forward to? Some kind of return. If it's not a return, it has to be. It has to be with like a situation that you try to disconnect from emotionally but it keeps drawing you back. 
<clears throat> maybe it's something about I feel like it's saying that there's something about emotions like keeping like going back to the same emotions all right you may be returning somewhere or going somewhere um, that you've been before because it can't get off your mind something like that um, advice for Taurus advice Hmm, the counselor and the eight of pentacles so not only will will something get something moving again whether it is a counselor like you know in in reality somebody that can give you really good wise advice on love on emotions or work because it's like here's something that's definitely working out on the bottom of the deck so the underlying issue is something that is working out um needing to get it going in the right direction i think that 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 is um part of this too or part of this message and you see this the lovely star here also um this could be a knight of cups kind of energy so it could be an offer that comes in that allows you to receive more income get more work maybe get more contracts or something like that um if right here grounding you is this energy of i don't want to do it uh but i need to put in the effort for what i want but i don't want to do it <laughs> so there can be a little bit of laziness um, I don't think that's a big, big deal though. I think you just know when you've got to put the effort in. There can be like this, uh, questionable friend or friends or acquaintances that keep us from putting in effort in the areas of life that we're wanting, you know, to excel at. So, so you got to watch out for that influence. I feel like, tell me about the past energy with the Ace of, Ace of Swords. Whoa, past energy is definitely moving past that. So you're feeling it though. You're feeling this. This is the, the past energy that you're still feeling, which is the Five of Pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles can be anything from, well, it, it, it leaves a feeling of being an outsider no matter what. Like, you, it, you know, if it's financially, it's a worry. If it's about health, it's a worry. Maybe about results, maybe about somebody else's health. Um, being the odd one out or feeling like you're like the black sheep here, that can be, it can also be like, um, possibly a need to let's come back to our spirituality because of this hard time, uh, with the church window there. So yeah, let's see more about that. So you could feel like somebody uh, left without giving you the whole truth of whatever it is here, too. So tell me about the Three of Cups in the reverse. Tell me more about that or the friends. The King of Swords, Queen of Cups, you need to do you. There are some friends that don't have your best interest at heart with the King of Swords in the reverse. There are some people that don't want to see you succeed and maybe because they misery loves company or maybe there's um this feeling of overdoing it so and this could be associated with breaking the rules being rebellious um but really not knowing what you're doing truly so the queen of cups is here to say um watch out for these people or those partnerships Love yourself first the way that you want to be loved. Um, take care of yourself. Diet, food, exercise, all of that stuff needs to, and especially sleep, that stuff needs to be looked at. Aquarius, maybe Pisces energy here, maybe Cancer. So what about the effort? Either this is you needing to put in a little bit more effort or somebody else needing to put in a little bit of effort with a partnership. It just depends.
I feel like you won't fall short of your goals if you um, try to make a decision different from something you've done in the past. So making a decision, like you not, do not have to repeat a lesson is coming out with the page pinnacle in the reverse. I would say that you need to get grounded or energy here is suggesting that you need to be a little more grounded. What is Taurus postponing with the two of swords up there? What is Taurus postponing? I'm being drawn to marriage or commitment. The nine of cups in reverse. There's a decision that needs to be made. Um, it's been postponed. The reason it needs to be made is because um, the energy that you've been giving to these people that are around you hasn't been received back the same way. And so, therefore, there's a feeling of I can have whatever I want. So then why do I still feel like I'm not getting what I want? That's what that is. Or, I mean, that's what it looks like it is. So being totally satisfied and fulfilled is the objective. And I feel like that decision will bring it on in. Maybe getting advice from somebody who's really wise. <clears throat> the counselor. Tell me about the eight of cups in the reverse. Tell me about the eight of cups in the reverse. judgment in the reverse past issue because of some past things when somebody wasn't there for you um you're still holding resentment or anger towards that person um yeah um it may be time for you to step outside your shell it might be time to become enlightened to a different path or the path of forgiveness, you know, where where it's quite simply forgiveness, the vibration of vi for forgiveness is going to be really high vibe. And it's going to bring, um, you know, those positive things you're wanting to manifest into your life. It will also bring in, I feel like, better um, company or something like that, better company. A second chance maybe called for um or just getting into that vibration where healing where forgiveness is healing and everyone deserves that um healing feeling that healing feeling whoa that love okay so bring back that love and feel maybe that's part of your message bring back the love and feeling okay so might still be there who knows we do have the energy of the ten of wands in reverse which i'm going to tell you the truth this is the card for me where a person's just taking as much of the load as they can take trying to take it all at one time and then just throws their hands up in the air and says i quit that is this energy because if you don't you burn out or the car blows up or something you know what i mean something is like a uh, boiling point so you have to watch with that all right, so tell me more about this future um, energy here. Wow, turning things around. <laughs> You're turning things around with that three of cups. Maybe single and mingle, but it definitely is going out with friends, having a good time, maybe a reunion, rejoicing. And it looks like there's some kind of new loving beginning with the page of cups. Some people are going to relate to that being news of a pregnancy. It doesn't, definitely not all. It is usually um, maybe somebody that you would meet here socializing or getting back together with people that you haven't talked to in a long time. So those are the messages. All in all, these things are going to work out themselves. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful earth energy. Lots of pentacles. You're going to have um, success when it comes to finances, no matter what. I don't know if that's so I see you celebrating abundance here, you know, raising your um, glass, more abundance. 
There's this light worker card, awakened healer, teacher, truth seeker, seeker, leader, author, spiritual experiences, guidance and healing. I have Twitter platforms, spiritual involvements or participations, paternal side, spiritual gifts, wisdom, inheritance from father's line. And then I have your soul number, which is what your heart desires. Chakras can use some clearing and balancing. So you might have some pain in um, your back area or, um, well, really anywhere up there, you know, on that row of where your chakras are because of them needing balancing. And listen to your body then, um, if that is the situation. So fairy dust and if you need a private reading if this resonated at all and you would like more information for yourself i can be reached in the description box there is an email address my readings are only 18 dollars. that is pretty good um practice after a while you'll dance on air practice makes perfect you're almost there and music fairies dance in the green hollow where the music plays joy will follow and that is what I've got for my Tauruses. Any love and light. Thanks for joining me. Bye.